All right, everybody, welcome back to another episode of Steampunk Craft. I've been navigating my way slowly through the ocean here, um, and we didn't find a monument. Uh, we also, our nearest desert now is 5,000, 4,000 blocks away. Might be worth nether traveling it, so we're not worrying about, like, the chunk loading issue. If I had an elytra and we didn't have the chunk loading problems, then I, I feel like we'd be super good to just fly over to it. But, not the case. I'm hitting this up because it may have some scrolls in it. Possibly. Or ink scrolls, things like that. I think this is one of the towers from Iron Spells. I could be wrong. But hopefully not. Oh, I can sleep here. Good. Anyway, make sure to like the video, subscribe to Captain Sparkles 2 to stay tuned for this and other episodes of Things and Stuff. Um, we will be, I mean, by the time this goes up, we may have actually already started on um, all the mods to the sky. I can't, I can't trade with you. Uh, you don't mind if I just yoink some stuff, though, really quick. You don't have any of the ink or spells. It's kind of lame, actually, you know? Be cool if you had that. Just, you know, recommending things for you to keep in stock for me to steal in the future. Um, y y just throwing it out there. Just a, just a thought. Just a thought. But anyway, let's head back home. I do think it'll just, it'll be quicker to even just start from home, go through the nether portal, and then head out to, um, actually what we could do is we could go to like far nether, build a portal. Maybe that's the way to do it. Do I have any obby here? Do have any obby? Uh, not, not really, no. No, I don't. Um, unless I have some sitting in the grindstone. Nope. No, I don't. But I think there is a lava pool right over there that I can just go to real quick. Get some obby. And then, yeah, we'll be good. Okay, so what am I going to... If I shift and do this, I can actually go between... Spells. God, that's actually better than using the wheel. Just a simple shift scroll. Love to see it. Okay, let's go to a lot over here. We'll get some obby. We can mine obby super duper quick like. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Get the obby. Uh, can I? I don't think I can double obby. I'm not sure about that. God, I mine it so fast that's actually insane. There we go. Okay. Bro. It is actually like mining cobblestone with like an iron pickaxe and no other modifiers. It's insane. God. Dude, like all my mining buffs are just wild. I'm gonna overheat now in like two seconds, but let me just, so how many do we want? Enough for two portals is probably good. Okay, good stuff. Jeez. I actually could, maybe, like... I wonder if I want to store all the XP, like, keep keep building XP in here, because we got that helpful tip of the fact that some of the quest rewards just give you a fixed increase in the amount of levels that you have, and so if you are at... If you give yourself 130 levels, and then you accept the quest rewards, it might send you, like, 160 levels instead of going from 0 levels to 30 levels, so you get way more XP from it, raw XP. So, I could just hoard for a little bit rather than putting any more into abilities. I don't know. I need to know. Anywho. Alright, so we got our obby, and um, what we will do is... Let's make sure we're good there. Okay. Let me head into the... Let's... We'll go to the far nether, which I think is pretty. We've traveled a good bit in the nether. And then build a portal there, and then on the other side of that we'll search for another desert biome. It's gonna be really funny when it takes me like right back to somewhere I've already been. Ugh. That would be the way it is. Wait, how are we doing here? How are we doing here? Wait, uh, uh, wait, can I reach? Get a prick. Oh God, I'm messing things up. I'm ruining everything. Wait, uh, oh God, can I reach? Oh no, oh God, ah, oh, frick. It's the <laughs> Dang, dude, another stack plus a bit. Whew. I need to have a better way to access that. But holy crap, bro, we are popping off in the gunpowder department. Now, our limiting factor actually is just gonna be, uh, not the coal, it's gonna be the, the copper. Wait, speaking of though, we can double up a little bit more copper because these guys are off cool. No, stop it, Jimmy, bad Jimmy, bad Jimmy. Come back, nope, bad Jimmy, do not, do not do that. 
Okay, there we go. And then a little doubling. And a little doubling. And a little more doubling. No, you don't double. Jimmy, stay in there. Do not abandon your friends. It's really offensive to them, actually. They they love you. Alright? And you you're trying to like dip out on them? Very inconsiderate. Just just unbelievably inconsiderate. I'm not punishing Jimmy. I'm putting Jimmy back with his friends. Jimmy, that's the one who should feel bad. Jimmy's the one who should feel really bad for trying to abandon. Unbelievable. Okay, so what was I doing there? We're getting more copper. And um, we need to make more advanced bullets. So boom, boom. And then a little gun pow pow. Alrighty. Uh, advanced bullet. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, that should hold us over for at least a little bit. God, I love it. I love it. Heck yeah. Excellent stuff. Okay. Well, to the far nether. Um, I feel like nether, I don't know what the farthest one was. Was it the, um, was it nether jackpot two? Was it nether heap? Or was it the, um, the place with the, uh, the guys who we hit for the, the netherites? I feel like Battlegrounds is probably the farthest away. Oh, you can actually see negative 1899 versus Nether Heap is, ooh, that's really far in one direction, but I think overall Battlegrounds is further, so. A little mental Pythagorean theorem, you know, that you gotta do every now and again. Gotta keep in mind your high school algebra math classes. You know, you don't wanna, you don't wanna lose the Pythagorean theorem. Oh, let's put that on. Okay, so there we go. And now, let's see. I don't know where our entrance was. Bastion, portal. Okay, yeah, yeah, we're pretty far. No, and this is also a new direction because we haven't really traveled northwest at all in the overworld, so I like it. This will be good. This will be good. Yeah, math. Everybody loves math. I know everybody hates math, but also I will say that of all of the, all the skills that you are taught to some extent in like elementary school and high school, math is probably the, at least basic math, is probably the most applicable and, and highly used. Other than just like communication skills and being able to write things. Writing is probably number one. If you can write good, then that's a good one to have. It's probably the most important, but also math is pretty, math is useful in certain cases. You disagree, you think science is more applicable? Even if you are like big scientist, if you can communicate well, then that puts you like a league ahead of other people who are really good at, you know, the sciencey things. There's some space bubble. But not excellent at, where the frick am I? Not excellent at like communicating what the significance of the sciencey things actually is. So I would argue that writing, still, still big important in that case, still big important. Um, you know? Anyway, all right. Uh, uppies, uppies, uppies. So what are we in? We're in a coniferous forest. Actually, you know, before I get too far, um, desert, 2,000 blocks away. Okay, like that's, that's better. It's 4,000, it's 2,000. In, uh, in what, where, oh, back where we came from. I could, hold on. Keep those chords in mind. Let's do some math and we'll go to it in the nether. That's what we'll do. That's what we'll do. Perfect stuff. All right. So let's go on a little journey to there. And hopefully we will, <laughs> watch will like emerge and the, uh, I'm gonna emerge in a desert temple and the obsidian is going to break a couple of chests. I'm gonna be on the, like, I'm gonna move and I'm gonna trigger the pressure plate and everything is just gonna be the worst. It's, <laughs> Oh, man. Okay, so negative 1600, comma, negative 1328. So let's, oh wait, let me deconstruct this. Oh, it's so actually amazing. Because, you know, usually when you're like making different portals in the nether, you're like, oh God, I have to now re-break the obsidian in order to use it again. Here, it's like, yeah, I got to re-break the obsidian so I can take it with. It. It's so easy. Oh, God. The mining efficiency is incredible. Go, 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 go. God, it feels like really not that far that I have to go. 
but uh, negative 1673, negative 1650, negative 1350. Easy peasy. We'll be there in, oh my God, you're actually trying to shoot surface to air babies in order to take me down. I can't, bro. Okay, 1670, and then over here. And then it was 1328. Getting close, getting close, getting close. Okay. Cool. Oh I'm, doing, I'm doing damage. I'm doing damage. Ow. We're good. I need some more of these. Okay, so we should be right near the desert. Uh, it doesn't have to be exact, but... Okay, you coming through with me? All right, sounds good, buddy. Um... Alrighty, shield man aged 200 bits. Answer your question, Captain. Femur, half my pelvis, parts of back bones, whole left hand bones are titanium and platinum due to birth deformities. I didn't even know that you could do things like that. You're gonna be a, you're gonna be a Terminator, but like a good Terminator, and it's gonna be gnarly. All right, where, hey, is this the desert that we're looking for here? Okay, so you are now 98 blocks away. Whew. Yeah, love to see it. You really love to see it. Hello, emus. So earlier today, Kara was watching this TikTok of, why is, why am I so weak right now? Oh God, these guys are like so high health. What in the world? Wait. How did these guys... No! Stop it, Emu! Wait, why are the health so big? I'm actually really confused right now. Bro, their health is actually... Ma no, stop! Dude, these guys have like 300 health! What do you mean? What do, what do you mean? Oh, is there distance scaling? Holy frick! I'm getting... Sorry, I'm getting so... Holy frick, dude! These guys are... Great. What is happening right now? Oh my god! What are we doing? Oh my god, dude! Wait, this has to be like a zombie raid or something. This is crazy! Dude, these guys like actually have like Ender Dragon health levels. What? The level 18. Level 18 zombie? Huh? Use the, yeah, you're right. Like, use the freaking HP. So what is this? What are your, what is your, the meaning of this? Here I was thinking I had, holy frick, like plenty of, um, did I keep the bed? I didn't keep the bed, but it's okay. I have access to the stuff. Oh my God. Here I was thinking I had plenty of bullets, but apparently not. Oh my God. So yeah, uh, Kara's TikTok that she was watching, there was an emu, and I don't know, I just kind of, it looked like a poo with legs, and I said this, and she's like, I'm going to tell this to my stream, so I don't know if she's already told this to her stream, but it really, it like the shape of it, and it was brown, and it really looked like a poo with legs. So anyway, I'm sharing it here before she throws me under the bus. And right on. So I'm going to sleep because, good God, how am I supposed to deal with... The, these guys, Ender Dragon level health zombies. Where is this coming from? Like, are you Ender Dragon level? No. Okay, thank goodness. Seriously, go look up a video of an emu and tell me it doesn't look a bit like a poo with legs. Unicorn's poo. Speaking of poo, thank you for gifting a sub. Uh, very, very much appreciated. Pretty cool. Very awesome. 
You don't know what an emu is. It's the thing that was just attacking me right there. So, bad news, everyone, is uh, it doesn't look like there is a desert temple anywhere in this area, unless there's one that's just, like, subtly buried. However, it does look like maybe in that direction there could be more desert. Just taking a look around. I mean, this was always a possibility that we <laughs> follow the thing, get to the desert, and it is, of course, a teeny tiny one. Can you get... Are there temples that spawn in Badlands, I wonder? God, is it really just going to be this teeny little sliver of desert over here? Ugh. This is the worst. It never wants to work out well, does it? Damn, man. Okay, well, let me check. Uh, just a little bit more to load. I just want to get a little closer to it. I'm going to run so that we're not loading chunks too quickly and making everything angry. But it looks just like a tiny little patch of desert. However, um... Hello, look at the emus! That Australia lost to! That's crazy. So do you, I wonder if the bullets don't work well. No, I'm not, I don't have the heart. I don't have the heart. I'm not going to do it. But I wonder if they are just as bullet resistant in the game. Okay, what are we looking at? Yeah. No, that's poopy. Okay. However, repeating this for uh, YouTube, we've received intel that apparently there is more and i'm sure this was in the comments section under under this episode or the previous episode where i was looting the desert temple i just that hasn't gone up yet so i didn't know but i'm sure oh wait let me set a location here just to have in case we do want to get out um far away desert and then we'll go to um where is it at warm ocean Warm ocean, there it is. So I was told that there is more underneath that desert temple that we didn't hit up. And um, that we should, because I was like focused on going up in the maze rather than down. And I don't know why I didn't think about like, yeah, I should probably go down. Usually when you go into desert temples, you go downstairs and that's where the loot is. But instead I was like, oh, I checked all the uppies and uh, that was that. So anyway... Here we go. Oh, it's up now. You have it in your queue. Well, um, I haven't caught the comments on it. Are there a lot of comments on it saying, by the way, you're an idiot. You didn't go underneath that desert temple. <clears throat> there probably are. And that's my bad. It's my bad. A lot, of, a lot of people pulling their hair out, probably. But we'll be back, and we're going to rectify that issue now. You thought you'd seen the last of me, Desert Temple, but you were wrong. Oh, God, not. And my inventory gets filled with junk again. Okay, so I did I did actually mine under this thing, but I guess the idea is it's like do you do it in the middle of the maze or you go down in the maze and that's... Oh, it's freaking... Oh, my God. I'm such an idiot. It was right there. I found it in two seconds. Oh, my God. Wait, I actually need to be careful because I swear to God, if a freaking guy comes in here, a freaking guy follows me in here, and he ruins my life, I'm going to be so upset that he just goes and walks in there and lands on the pressure plate. Frick your TNT. Frick your TNT. Wait. Why are there only two? What happened to the other chests? Guys. This is ridiculous. Wait, these aren't even the right looter chests. Okay, thank goodness. We got the eye at least. Okay. I, I'm honestly, I'm fine with that. We might not have gotten whatever that other thing was that, that we were looking to get the angel thing. But double eye even at that. Cool. Cool. Bottle of Ikor. To contempt the gods, one must know them. Consume to obtain plus one charm slot permanently. I mean, is that bad? That seems good. It seems very good. Yeah, the uh, the angel blessing. Right. So I guess the angel blessing will take some more loot. 
Is there any reason not to eat this? This seems good. Seems really good. Is there, yeah, are there, nope, there's no crafting recipes. Uh, wow, you get a lot of other stuff too, but permanently get plus one charm slot. Whoa, look at that, double charms right there, heck yeah. I also just got a bunch of extra stuff for a few seconds. I didn't realize there were bonus effects to go along with it, but cool. Very cool. I feel like I wasted the additional bonuses that you get with it, but anywho. All right, so that brings us up to, how many eyes are we at now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven eyes. We need five more. And, okay, I think Cartographer and Ocean Monument map are next in the cards for us. Yeah, let's, um, we'll head home and then go to that tree that's... Thank you. I almost missed it. We'll go to the tree that's near this tree. Yoink a villager from there. Come back. And um, then we will be able to um, do what we need to do. Okie dokie. <laughs> as long as they don't think I'm... Oh, wait. There's that other place that was over near the desert. That's another option. Wait. I don't remember. Did I did I set a waypoint there? And I'm like, I'm dumb. Where was it? Which one? I don't think I set a waypoint there. I really should have. I was not thinking. Hey, what if I want... What if I need more villagers? Oh, well, it's fine. So where's the other tree at? Other tree was just a little ways away, but we got this. We must go. All righty then. Hello, villagers. It's great to have you here. Ready to join me in my quest to find an ocean monument. Do any of you happen to be unemployed by any chance? Don't worry, I won't steal anything because you won't come with me if you think I'm a thief. Nelson, you will be joining me today, and I will, in the meantime, set another thing here. One program. Uh, other jungle tree at location. And now in 10, 9, 8, 7. Have I told you about our sponsor, Apex Hosting, code Captain Sparkles, 25% off your first month of server hosting. Play this mod pack with your friends. And now. We can go... Would the order completely changed and everything, didn't it? <laughs> go home. It's a great opportunity for an ad break right there. All right. Uh, the problem is that you are going to be employed, and I need you to be unemployed. So, this, this requires change. Really, are there no planks? Thank you. This requires change. I take a fence to this. Let me make more wooden fences, I guess. And I'm going to have to do... I, I guess I simply haven't done Villager Pen 2.0 here. Maybe I'll do it upstairs. We've got as much use out of the top floor as we have in, you know, past times. So how about we do this? Do this, right? And then get our boy in here. And then you need to think about what you've done, okay? You're not, you're not a fisherman anymore. You're simply not. You're a cartographer. You're a cartographer, Nelson. All right, and don't you forget that, buddy. It seems like you've already forgotten it, but I'm sure he'll remember at some point. Okie dokie. God, how many bullets did I go through? God, quite a bit. Quite a bit. Not cool. Not cool at all. All right, how are we looking here? We are at... God, almost another couple stacks. Insane. Insane. Bullets for days. We do scorched bricks and... So Wait, actually. Would this be a good opportunity for us to do a bunch more of the scorched bricks? Actually, the problem is going to be lava. That's our next thing we need to figure out is we need to get infinity lava going. And if we can get infinity lava going, then our problems are solved. When are we gonna add the structure compass to the mod pack? I feel like that's just, it's just, mm. It feels like something I'm not supposed to do. Cause it's like a major, major thing. But also, 
I also, because of the chunk loading issues, feel like I, I have to. So, I just don't know what to do. We should make a pick a ring. Oh yeah, we can't because we need the heart of the diamond, whatever, which is, I feel, I feel dumb for letting all those guys explode now. But what can you do? Could that, could that be a shipwreck? That would be insane if that is a shipwreck. Okay, I'm down. Do I have a, I don't know if I have a TP out there. I think I might just have to fly, but that could be a thing. Yeah, I guess let me waypoint it real quick. Set temporary waypoint. All right, here goes nothing. Fingers crossed, God, this would be, this would be huge for us. And then hopefully by the time we're back, this freaking guy, this freaking guy will have decided to actually be what he's destined to be, still being a freaking fisherman. Unbelievable, dude. You're a cartographer, not a fisherman. All right, thousand blocks away. Let's hit it up. I'm about to do the craziest maneuver all time. All right, check this out. Check this out what I'm going to do. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to... Okay, I'm going to... Exit. And then... Here he goes! Woo, yeah! That was what I call an epic gamer move. Woohoo! Okay, that was kind of sick though, right? That was kind of sick. Come on, come on. Is that a shipwreck? It's a real shipwreck! Oh my god, it's a real shipwreck! Tell me you've got it. Tell me you've got what I need. Tell me you got a buried treasure. Buried treasure? Buried treasure? God, I've been looking for you forever! Thank you! Oh! Okay, wait, yeah, there's that other one that we could also check out, because, like, if that's real, if that's real right there, then that means the other one, which was somewhere, uh, oh, it's harder to see because we were in the, oh, it's over here, though. Might be this. This is, this is that right there. That right there. Set a waypoint. Set a temporary waypoint. I can also delete that waypoint. Um, delete. Okay. That might be. Okay, but hold on, hold on. I gotta get this first because there's a good chance that we've already, um... Where is it? So it is to the southwest. It's over here. There's a good chance, I feel like, uh, that... We are going to... Um, m we might have overlap on the map anyway. So... Let's see. It's just gonna be at the uh, base of the... Ocean here, I guess. Yeah, my, that's the thing. It might give the exact same treasure for both, so I'll just hit this up first, and then we'll see. Um, we'll head over to the other thing, and if it looks like it's giving the exact same treasure, I'll just teleport home. Fingers crossed, though, that like, because I don't think that the eye is guaranteed. So, I need you to put out the feels. Real big feels here. Oh, if you teleport somewhere else before you open it, does it actually just try to locate whatever the closest treasure? But what if you what if you teleport somewhere else, and then you end up, you know, getting super unlucky, and you end up in a place that doesn't actually have uh, buried treasure nearby? It's a bit of a gamble. Okay, here we go. Heart of the sea. No eye. Fricky dicky. Fricky dicky. What is that? A bottle of sulfire. I don't know. I don't know what that means, but that is very unfortunate. I think last time that I was looking for the eye that comes in buried treasure, it was like super duper not happening, which is unfortunate. So, okay, but it's fine. Let's, um, let's sleep. And then check the other one. They scan chunks until they find buried treasure rather than being bound to a specific, so actually it is, so it is definitely worth taking it and flying elsewhere. Okay. Okay. I'm down. 
All right, here we go, everybody. We do. Um, we activate there and just not a very strong glide. Go fast, go fast, go fast, go fast. Dang it. Oh, well. 600 blocks away. I'm actually, I'm like weighing the cost benefit of keeping on that trinket that halves my uh, effects durations. Because it is really annoying only having 15 seconds instead of 30 seconds. It's true, I could make fireworks and just use the fireworks whenever I activate that rather than using Burning Dash. I would get further. Yeah, maybe. Think about it. But, um, okay, so if I do this, I could TP to the warm ocean, right? TP to the warm ocean, and then, um, I bet you there's a buried treasure that's, like, somewhere nearby. So that's probably a good, good way to operate it. Yeah, I know, the fireworks are only bad for the paraglider, but no, we could totally use them with the angel wing thing. I was just talking about... Because of our uh, our trinket that we're using, it has um, this thing here. It has all status effects, which is good for bad status effects, but it's bad for good status effects. So, um, okay. Please tell me it is another ship, and we're not uh, freaking hallucinating here. Okay, here we go. Are you? <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's a geode. Great. Great. We tried. <laughs> and, uh... You know, maybe, maybe, though, if we just take a closer look at some of the other water areas we've been to, maybe we can spot something that is interesting. It was like, if I go down a little bit, it seemed to kind of help the vision, maybe, of... Things because like it was really hard to actually it wasn't super hard to spot that. Um, so we could like check out more water areas and just see. No others, but one can hope that um our boy is now fulfilling his destiny. You're fulfilling your destiny, right? Oh yeah, he's looking cartographery, my man. My man, Nelson, that's more like it. I knew you would figure out what it was you were meant to do. All right, Winter Wagon Haunted Manor. These are not... You're going to have a chance of not giving me the trade that I need, aren't you? You're going to be offering just all these fricked up maps that nobody cares about at all. I mean, yeah, I'll trade for Haunted Manor, but I'm a little concerned here that that okay it does rank you up at least thank goodness I don't have to try like 50 of the same map in order to get him to the next level okay tetra dot filled map dot forged ruins cool what is an adventurer map what does that do I don't know what an adventurer map does um but okay so haunted manor map trade and see yeah sure I guess why not Another compass. Let me just keep using the iron. Okay, so the forged runes, we already, we've already done that, so we don't need to do that again. But I'm going to have to trade for it anyway. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, please, man. Um, I don't... Oh, you can just trade emeralds for that. Oh, never mind. Well, that's annoying. Uh, forged ruins. It's already... Uh, I guess we could find another one. Maybe. Oh, that's all you get there. And then... I am very annoyed because this guy is going to force me to buy, like, more of the exact same thing in order to rank up. Oh, you can buy more adventurer maps. I see. Nobody knows what the adventure maps actually are, but um, are you going to be leveled up? Ocean Explorer. Ocean Explorer. Woodland Explorer. Wait, is, is Adventure... Which one is that? 
Okay, Woodland Explorer is not Ocean Explorer. And doesn't Ocean Explorer come before Woodland Explorer? I'm pretty sure. I guess Woodland Explorer is good, though, because we could get more evokers, but yeah. Okay. Well, all right. Adventurer map. Maybe it will be something cool. I don't even know what it is that we're looking for. Is it that little crown-looking thing in the upper left? Um, I wonder if it's the... Yeah, do we want to actually have an oceanographer villager? The one that's paired with the aquarium? Okay, that's a castle in the top left. I wonder if the oceanographer villager is actually the way to go. Well, I mean, regardless, I could check out... Um, if they're random, maybe it's something else. Or is it gonna be exactly the same? <laughs> Checking? Checking? How about Woodland Explorer? A Pathfinder quill is already searching. Taking its sweet time. Everybody, I hope I don't let you all down. But in the interest of being able to do anything, I got a, I think we got a structure compass here. It just, it, things load too slowly in this pack. And I also simply, I can't do like this, leaving my PC on <laughs> overnight, every night, loading new areas with Chunky or something. So um, I hope you don't think too much less of me, but anyway. Oh my God, it's still searching in the bottom left. I've reloaded the pack. I've installed the Explorer's Compass, and we're still searching. What does it cost? Crackstone bricks. Ooh, we gotta get a few cobwebbies here, huh? I don't think I have any cobwebbies in here. No, I have none of the things. Okay, well, see, we have stuff that we actually have to achieve now, so um, the stone bricks shouldn't be too difficult at all, but um, let's see. All we gotta do is toss the four into the fire. And then after that, we must go into the spidery parts of the th Okay, oh freaking balls. We must go into the spidery depths of the mine area, and then we will be able to do what we need to do. Okay. Oh yeah, also, um, what I was saying, as we were loading, someone said, like, what are you going to trade? What are you going to give up um, in exchange for you having added the structure compass? And what I said is that I pledge to give my firstborn child um, in exchange for the structure compass. Um, cross my heart, hope to die. So that is that is the equivalent exchange that is going to be taking place here. Um, anyway, good job, adventure map. You keep on searching. Oh, it's no longer searching. I threw it back in. Um, <laughs> Haunted Manor, I just don't know if it's interesting or not. I can't risk trying to go there, loading all the chunks, and then it's like some teeny little house with a few cobwebs in it. And I'm just like, ah, oh, cool. Well, that's great. Okay, so now we need some cobwebs, which I wonder if you can actually craft cobwebs in this pack. You can, with spider silk. Do I have any of that? I do! Oh, that's just fantastic. I didn't need to go do any of that. So now we make ourselves the explorer's compass. Heck yeah. Watch this be like 10,000 blocks away. It's fine. I can use the nether. So, monument. No, no, it's fine. It was replaced with something else, right? It was replaced with something else. Yes. Young's Better Ocean Monuments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're good. We're good. It's fine. 3,300, 1,600. In this direction, which is a direction that I have not gone. So nether travel is probably the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Young's, God. Whew. Almost had a bad time with that one. All right. Let us go. We needn't travel very far at all. And there we go. Are these? Oh, these are all fully grown. I have to maintain my crops. I do wonder if you can actually throw these into the... No, you probably can't throw them into the crop thing because you would need to... Well, if you started the soul sand lower down, I guess you probably could, but... Anywho. Here we go. 
Oh yeah, that's 14,200. Did I say that? I don't know if I said that prior to uh, re-unpausing, but yep, yep, yep. Show your work. Show your work. You're not always going to have a calculator in your pocket, okay? <clears throat> yeah. Ye of little faith in technology. Of all people, it should have been the math teachers who had faith in technology, allowing you to have a calculator in your pocket at all times in the future, but surprisingly, no. All right, so over this way... You know, you'd think, you'd think they would be the ones who are very, very bullish on the advancements of technology and all that stuff, but, but no. They, they didn't believe. They were not believers. Ah, oh, there's a bunch of the soul sand things there. Or the soul plants. Such non-believers. No way we'll ever have... And th this is like even as iPhones are actually starting to come out in high school. Right? They're still like, oh, you're not always going to have a calculator in your pocket. I'm like, what are you, are you looking at the news? Did you miss the launch of the iPhone? Okay, it's got a calculator app. Yeah, sure, it might not be a scientific calculator, but like that's pretty advanced and probably will at some point. Let's be, let's be real here, dude. Issues more that you have to know what to type into the calculator. I don't know, man. Me typing into the calculator, uh, please give me the answer to this derivative or integration pretty nice and they were like no 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 but you gotta know you gotta know and i i understand knowing the concept but still it's like eh. mr ti dear mr ti 89 can you just give me the answer to this problem pretty please and thank you and he was always like yes i can so we're basically we're really well for homework but then you little frick that's what i thought Worked really well for homework, but when it came to the test, it was oftentimes a no calculator test. Although sometimes they would allow calculator tests, and having the TI-89 was basically pay to win. <laughs> other people, other people that are struggling with their TI-84s are like, I can't derivative an integral. And I'm just like, here's the, okay, so here's the question on the test. I'm just gonna type, people type, people type, people type. There's the answer, great. <laughs> Oh, wow, that is a convenient portal right there. <laughs> Guys, I think we uh, lined up our cords from the nether pretty well. Don't you think? Oh, wait, Frick, I realize I'm gonna... I'm gonna get mining fatigued here in like two seconds, but I don't actually know if I have any mulk. Um, I know, it's it's on the top of the structure. God, that was insane. Uh, so, here we go. Oh, and I can breathe forever. That's why I filled up the back tank before we came here, but yeah, you get the idea. All right, down the hatch. Where are they? Hey, what? Uh, okay. Okay, it doesn't like it. Uh, really, it's not liking things real quick. Right, one sec, it's just not liking them. Is there an entrance right over here by any chance? Ah, here's the entrance. I don't have mulk, but we, oh my God, look at the squid. That's cool. Where are the, um, I thought I saw an Elder Guardian, but maybe I'm, maybe I'm incorrect about that. Oh yeah, there's just a freaking trident ready to go. Cool. Hello, Mr. Squidman. I thought I saw an Elder Guardian, but maybe, maybe not. Maybe, oh, that's how I saw the Elder Guardian, because he actually was up top. Um, but... I mined in, or my, the main entrance is a different spot. So let me, oh, it did actually break the block. It just didn't let me through. Hello. Oh, there you are. Hello, men. Um, I would, I would very much like to get your eye, if you don't mind. It would be of a great deal of assistance to me. Is my magnet on? There we go. Did I get it? Hey, we got it! Oh, we also got a Heart of the Sea, holy frick! Hardened Prismarine? What is that? I don't know what Hardened Prismarine is. Well, so we came here, we basically just immediately got what we needed, and, um... As for everything else... I don't know, we can just check things out. I don't know why I'm not getting mining fatigued. And I'm not complaining, but also... Oh, hello, buddy! Oh my god, look at his freaking... Look at his freaking mouthballs. I mean, eyeball... I meant to say, like... 
I was thinking like eyeballs, so I said mouth balls. Oh, there we go. Now we're mining fatigued. You get another eye? No, called an Elder Guardian Spine. Creepy. You got any chests around here by any chance to loot? I've been in one of these structures before, and I, I know that there were chests in some places. Is this the entrance? No, wait, hello? Hello? Anybody home? So, but but actually, now that we have the uh, Heart of the Sea, I think that means we have two of them. We, oh, I just, oh, that's why I needed to hit up the chest here, because I still need to find more Nautilus shells. How many Nautilus shells am I at right now? I'm at seven. I'm not even at one single conduit. Oof. Wait, Elder Eye from Upgrade Aquat. Oh, never mind. No, that is not the right one. That's a different one. Dang it! What do you do with this, by the way? Solonite Alloy Mix, which is used in Solonite Ingot, which is used in... Nobody knows what it's used in. It doesn't have any uses, apparently, okay? Ah, shoot. Wait, you're telling me. Am I... Oh, god dang it. Am I just getting unlucky here? So that's two Guardians, and... Seen many warriors drown into the depths of the sea. It does tell you when you go into the end thing. Uh, Elder Guardian. Well, yeah. It's not working. I am not getting it. So I need to find the man's up here. This is the final guy. Oh, you're right. <laughs> I should heal. Oof. You know what? We'll just gap it up a little bit. Oh, hey! There he is. Hey, um, you wouldn't mind, you know, giving me the freaking thing that I need. Cool. Cool beans. No, that's great. That's great. So we just cleared the, cleared the guardians, unless there's more, and, um, didn't get the thing. That's great. No, maybe, maybe there's one that, uh, also, where are the chests? I swear, there used to be chests in these things, weren't there? Um, chests are at the top. Okay. Uh, where, where's the entrance into this region? Again, it's right over here. Okay. You have got to be kidding me. Yeah. All right. Uh, where are we at on mining for season? Another 50 seconds. Okay. Man, that's really fricked up. It's real fricked up right there. Are there no more? Let me double check that, like, towards this side, no more guardians showing up. Nope. Excellent. Excellent stuff. Chess. About those chests. Where are... <laughs> My screen! Oh, right, right, there's this stuff. Ooh, okay, that's good. That's good. Wait, that's... Oh, we're there. No, we're there. In Nautilus shells. Like, we're there. Yeah, it's a good consolation prize. A, a module is settled. Ooh. I need to whack more things. God damn it. What about uh, over here? Mm, oh, this is just where the gold is stored. You know, I don't think that I... <laughs> Need much more gold blocks. I think I'm good. I think I'm good on that. Well, hey, you know what I can do? You know what I can do? Which is bound to be great, is I can actually, I can TP out to that super far distance that we went, and then I could search for another underwater monument from there, right? That would be the way to do it. So I don't even think I need to waypoint this, really. Um, so hold on, watch. I go boom, boom, and I go, and I go boom, and I go boom, and I go wait, and then I can just grab the obsidian here, so we have it for later. Keep reusing it. We're actually, you know what? If we do this, if we do this, 
we get to slowly but surely build our obsidian content, right? Because every 10 that we invest yields us 14 in return. It's honestly obsidian stonks here. Pretty cool. Rosen, thank you for gifting a sub. Misled17, thank you for gifting a sub as well. Very epic. Cool. So, no, that's going to be the way to go. But also, I think I can make conduits now, right? Conduit. Here we go. And one, two. And then the exotic eye awaits us, I believe. Oh, frick. Wait, one of you. And then, really, the thing that I'm missing is glow squids. <laughs> Right. Well, I mean, really, you can soul fire squid ink sacks in order to get glow ink sacks. That's fascinating. Huh. Okay. Do we have any, um, let me see. Do we have any other glow things? We do have, ah, we got some glow squid ink. So I can put those on the cutting board as well and then get the uh, other stoof. What do we, so it is, cut it, yeah, just cutting board. Okay, no, that's fine. We can do that later. Guardian Spine. God, that's creepy. Well, away we go to new chunks, and then oh, I'm going to have to go into the nether again, probably, in order to do this. Yeah. It's fine, though. All right. We go to uh, Far Away Desert. Get in there. All right. Monument. Where's it at? Ocean Monument. Did I did I do the wrong one? I did the right one, right? Okay, it's five thousand blocks away. All right, five thousand blocks in that direction is not the same one, right? That's not the same one. Definitely not the same one, because that was like that was there. No, okay, it's definitely not that one. Um, yeah. All right. Uh, more math, everybody. <laughs> okay. Um, so let us get rolling. This is so much better. Dude, it would be, it would have been nightmarish to actually try to load out all these chunks and not know where we're trying to go and you just hope that eventually we stumble across something. Like, it would have been, it would have been bad. My lantern! No way! I almost was ruined! And now we obby stonks. 10 goes to 14. <laughs> and the number keeps on increasing. God, nobody does obby stonks like I does obby stonks. I wonder actually if I should... You know, I could do... Okay, let's just think. I was trying to like save these up, but... Because we have 125 levels. But if I just took a few levels here, just a, just a few... And then we went into our abilities, or our skills, and I just wanted to mine, like, a little bit quicker. God, that is really expensive, but... Oh, wait, no, 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 it's only 310. I thought it was saying 1900. That's not bad. That's not bad. That's not bad. We've just maxed out on mining speed. Okay. Okay. No, that's gonna be good. Now we're gonna be maxim... Oh, wait, I need to get efficiency 6 on this thing as well. Anyway, but it's, it's cool. So, um, we are going... In this... Wait, it was like south, I think. A wee bit, a wee bit south. And negative 1500, negative 710. So pretty much south. Quick, quick detour. Quick detour. If that's a battleground... Oh, it is. Okay. So... I'm gonna I'm gonna waypoint this. Cause like if we wanna go real crazy, if there's ever an opportunity to, you stop. We could if we we could potentially develop a netherite farm. It would take some work. It would take some work in several battlegrounds, but it's possible and would be kind of awesome. So hold on. Um Nether Battleground 2. Okay, so, anyway, I just figured I would do that. I like how now, finally, that we're not actually looking for it. That's when we find the Battlegrounds. That's, that's how everything happens. It's exactly when you're not looking for it. It's like, here's the thing that you wanted earlier. There, it turns out they're everywhere. That's just a portal building. Man, it's so sad. They could, those 
could have been so much more, but they're not. Okay, here we go. And then let me just build out. I didn't want to do it like at the level of the lava because then I would be very toasty. Um, go to 710. And build that portal. All right. Will we be in the thing again? No, don't do it. No, you stop. You stop too. Don't even think about it. Don't even think about it. Oh, you little frick. I was like, wait a minute, I didn't like the thing. It must have gotten lit by the, the blaze. That's funny. <laughs> Um, I didn't even see the thing come in, but that was great. I don't think it was a ghast. It must have been the blaze. Eh, uh, Roy? Yeah, I know there's a fortress over there. Okay, we're in the monument, right? We're spawning in the monument. Ice maze? Huh? What the f... What? In the frick? Wait, is this the freaking, like... Pillager structure thing? Very w Yeah, I did. I didn't even know this thing. <gasps> Wait! This could be another eye! Um. So, where is the tall thing? That's uh, fine. I can go. Oh. Oh, I'm. I am, uh, cold? Holy, wait, no, oh my god! Oh, oh no! Wait, I'm, I am immediately freezing? Okay, so, how do we deal with that? Um, there, is there any sort of, yeah, is there any sort of, like, uh, uh, dry suit that you can make? Well, in the meantime, I suppose we can do this. Ow, 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 oh my god, oh my god, no, I am not dying here, I refuse, stop. So, hmm, I'm concerned about how I'm going to approach this underwater monument. It's not good at all. It's quite bad, actually. Uh, yeah. Exploration. Uh, oh, it's Captain Cornelia. Right, right, right. So, I'm not sure if you can get the eye from here. Use the architect's ink well to write in a name and lore. When done, combine with any item in the anvil to attach these writings to that item. What does that even? What does that even mean? <laughs> Spin the globe. Okay, guys. Wait. It's not working. It won't let me do it. I can't spin the globe. It won't let me. I don't know what's up. I'm sorry, everybody. I've let you down. Mm. Thank you. And knock back three. Wow, in case I really don't want to ever hit anyone a second time. <laughs> That'll be great for us. Um, what else you got? Anything? Oh, tomes for, oh my god, tomes for to punch three. In case I once again don't want to be able to hit anyone a second time. 
The noises around here are so ominous. All right, fish. Not really anything like super exciting in here though. I remember if there's uh, better loot down below. Oh no, the villagers, they're all trapped. Okay, we bit of that. It's just the same stuff in every single one. Similar. But what about an eye? What is this dagger of greed? Into a chance to get a bad omen when attacking villagers. Attack villagers and pillagers drop emeralds. Greed. Advancement get. Boy, these Nautilus shells really would have come in handy a lot more if I hadn't already made the conduits that I needed. Oh, frick, I threw the wrench in. Eyes? It's all gonna be fish in here, isn't it? Where's that fin? Guys, I need... I think that the, um... I think the eye is only in the pillager outpost structure version of this. I don't think it's in this version, so I'm pretty sure we just have to keep looking. I also don't think that the eye is, like, essentially... It's not tied to this, it's just that this... The structure that spawns in this area can over... Oh, hi there. God dang, he just wrecked me. And the structure that spawns in this area can sort of overlap. I think with what is considered to be a pillager outpost. What is that? Esca. Alright, well, guess not. Um... It's gonna be really cold here, isn't it, at night? It's actually not too bad. What did I do? Light in the darkness. Perfect instance, obtain an angler's fan, obtain an esca. I don't think I did either of those, but I'd like to thank the pillagers for doing it and me magnetizing them. Um, yo, your mom games. Thanks for going from a prime to tier one. Maddie VV, nine months. Kev G with 22 uh, explosion emotes and stuff like that. Rescue the villagers. I suppose I can take one at a time, at least. And then I can TP back here. But yeah, the other issue is just... I don't know how to deal with the frigid waters. Hey, man. I got you, bud. Oh, he's unemployed, too. This is excellent. There's no better scenario in which I could yoink a villager and bring him back. Don't worry, man. You'll be in a really not frigid ship, at least. So, no, Quantum Catcher cannot hold multiples, sadly. How do I, how do I dive in the cold water? So that's the only thing that says diving. What about dive? What about warm? It's not good. I mean, I could do water skins, but I don't actually know. Like, I was so instantaneously getting dead that... I don't know, I don't know if the water skin will last. You feel the vibrations under the ice. What do you mean I feel the vibrations under the ice? Uh, wet suit, is there a wet suit? No, I don't think there's a wet suit either. Uh, ice resistant potion. Dive. Diving. There are diving boots, but I don't think they have anything to do with temperature. God, not again! I hate you so much. I hate you so much. I was able to break blocks for a second there. Can I break ice? No, I still can't break the ice. He's like, look at this, look at this. Immediate freezing. I don't actually think, wait. That's actually not cold sweat that's doing it though, because my temperature isn't going into like 100. So it's some, it's something else. And I do, there's got to be something else that combats it. Is it the is it the Captain Cornelia maybe that does it? Like if I if I d fight Captain Cornelia, can I get the armor that makes it so I'm not going to get wrecked? What was the thing? Summons Captain Cornelia can be used near water in an ice maze. Okay. Well, let's give it a try. <laughs> Try not to die. I know she kind of hits hard, but I can shoot her with a gun. 
Nothing happened. What do you mean nothing happened? Nothing happened, skull emoji. Is it this area? Do you have to do it here? Still nothing ha- This whole area I thought was considered to be like the ice maze thing. Go next to unfrozen water openings? Where would that be? Let's see, is it this? Just need to be near an opening. Oh, there we go. Oh my god! I'm being floated. Why am I being floated? I'm gonna freaking die. Hi, Turbine. Thank you for gifting 50 subs. That's very appreciated. Okay, um, guns are, guns are the answer. Guns are always the answer. Oh God. Yikes. Oof. I can't, oh my God. Dude, this anti-grab thing is fricked. I gotta eat. Sorry, seals. Ay, 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 ay. Oh my god. Bruh. Bruh. Whew. You can't handle the guns. That's what I'm talking about. Jeez. Thank you again, Turbine. That was uh, very generous. Very, very much appreciated. Um, let's see. Okay. Treasure pouch. What do we get? We got a coral lance. Oh, yeah. That thing's super Omega fancy. Boots of the Sea Tramps. The three bolt helmet. So, oh, protects you from the freezing waters in the ice maze. Exactly what we needed there, huh? Okay, but the problem is I now don't have infinite underwater breathing. So I need to... Uh, um, oh, you need the full set. Oh. So, let's see. Sea wolf uh, armor three bolt suit there goes all of my iron once again. Okay, it's actually like pretty doable. And then how do you make the oxygen tanks more iron? Oxygelium. Where the frick do you get oxygelium? Um, okay, that one doesn't protect you. This one, okay, full set ability. Yeah, I could... No, I'd have to loot the horn again. I can't... Uh... The Dead Sea. Use a shell horn near the water. Take the key for the captain's key. Oh, opens a chest hidden in the depths of the ice maze. I recall that being something that I, I just don't know where you actually get it from. Oh, you can mix and match. No, but it, the set bonus is different here. So I don't know. I don't know. Um, dive, wait, dive near the edge of the ice and be quick, like where I just was? Did it spawn underneath? But, oh, you're just saying be quick because of the uh, getting cold. Oxygelium, oh, is this stuff? Is that stuff? Oh God, I gotta get out, I gotta get out. Okay, that must be oxygelium, maybe? No, that's Eska or a fin or something. Where the frick is oxygelium? So it's not you? It's just more fin. What the heck? Oh god, ow! I don't like this. I don't like oh god. It's like shooting fish in a barrel. <laughs> How's my bullet doing, by the way? I go through a lot of ammo. Actually, still a decent amount left. Um all right, well, I think I'm going to have to worry about this in the next episode. And that's, maybe I'll uh, remind myself, because I know we've 
done the ice maze thing before. But the only thing I need to do here is I need to find the oxygelium, so I'll probably just look that up, figure it out. Then we'll be able to dive in, deal with the monument. I could, in fairness, find another monument as well. It doesn't have to be this one. But, uh, anywho, thanks for tuning in. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel to stay tuned for more. Uh, follow twitch.tv slash Captain Sparkles, and I'll see you next time.